Hey, welcome to Tools on Tech. I'm currently working on a video that I made way too complex, so it's taking longer. And I just wanted to make like a small video showing how to do block properties, put them in a table and sort them. Uh, it's not going to be very complex. I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to upload it as is. So it's not going to be as fine tuned as you're used for me, but it will be informative. So let me show you how that works. This is my demo log seek. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a couple of entries. Now we're going to make a couple of entries based on food because I think that's easy. So I'm going to say like, hey, you got pizza as a food. And then I'm going to say burgers are a food. And the way this is set up um, is that once you start marking things, now I'm using the tag here, but you could also use blocks and it would get to the same result. And it also doesn't have to be in the same spot. So if I go to like this other date that I have here and I say sushi uh, and I take poke bowls, once I do this, um, they're all good. And I believe it doesn't even matter if I do this. So whatever suits your play style work way. Now that I got a couple of examples here, if I click on this, you'll see this and you'll see the references here, but nothing else. Now I can put the query anywhere, but for this example, I'm going to put it inside the food page because that will give me the benefit that I can just click on any tag that I have and immediately get the results. So I'm going to go query here uh, and then it's going to go, hey, you got a live query and you can fill stuff in. Now clicking plus, doing page reference and then typing in food. And that should immediately get me my table. It might be that you'll get this one first, which is like an overview thing. And then you just click on that icon over here, turns it into a table. You can sort here. I can click on block and it will sort the block properties. You can click on page and it will sort on the date of the page. Nice, but okay, this is a pretty basic example. Now let's say we wanna add some values to it. Now I'm gonna go to pizza. I'm gonna press shift enter and then type ingredients and add a double column, this is important. And then I'm gonna add a comma separated value. So I'm gonna go like, okay, what does what goes in pizza, tomato, and cheese, obviously. So I got these first things in here and I'm just gonna add a couple of more of these. Now I do just a double column twice because then I get like an auto completion. I can type like ingredients. It will show me options that I had before. Well, luckily burgers have tomato and cheese, but they also have buns, some type of meat. Uh, burgers one would assume uh, maybe some lettuce and ketchup no mayo and then they put the mayo on the burger to me it's done but that's a personal preference let's do another one again do the double colon type in ingredients and then say potato now we have that one in there and i'm gonna do the sushi one as well shift enter again ingredients and then the sushi one has uh, salmon uh, rice, soy sauce, uh, seaweed, I'm not sure. Uh, pardon me for not being native English speaking. And then you got poke bowls, which I think have basically similar ingredients. It is an example. We're not going to make it more complex than this is. Now, now I have these things. If I go back to my food thing, you'll see that it automatically added that column. It's there, there's ingredients. I can sort them it, but it's not is useful because even though it's a comma separated value thing, it still just sorts on the first item. It does, however, understand differences between numbers, dates, and strings. This it considers a string. Now, if I go back here uh, and I would give them a number, uh, I'm just gonna give them a rating, say like this is rating one, rating two, rating three, and then I'm just gonna add a weird number in between there. So I'm gonna give this a rating of 12, and I'm gonna give this one a rating of 21. And by doing this, if it doesn't sort numbers correctly, it would make a really weird list. So now if I go back to my table and click, click on food, get the table here and I sort on rating, you see it actually uses the numbers. If it would use a string sort, then 12 would be after one and then two and then 21 and then three, it would, it would be a mess. If you just have numbers in there, however, then Loxy goes like, oh, this is a number and it will start sorting it as a number. You can, however, write a string in any of the ratings and at that point it will probably start mixing it up. So let's give that a go. I mean, let's just try and experiment here together. I'm gonna go to rating, I'm giving it a rating of A. Um, that shouldn't help out. And then as you see, now it's doing a string sort. So it's saying one, three, and then 12, 21, and then still goes to A. That's weird, that's not a string sort. I am confused as to what Logseek actually does here. Then 
So it's going to try a number sword first, I think. And then it's going to do a letter sword. Because if I change it around. Let's, uh, let's make another one. Let's go here. Go back in time a bit. Test food. Give that a food. And give it a rating of uh, bath. That's a weird rating. Should be fine. I go here. You see the bath rating. Oh yeah. So then it does numbers first. And then it goes A, B. This at least works. Like on average. If you just put numbers in. And you just have an accidental string somewhere. Then that won't muck up your rating. Uh, and it will put like the letters straight after. And start sorting from there. It doesn't allow mixing of those two. But they were bad at mixing anyway. And I would prefer this because I don't see any reason why you would like have to list a number and then have them alphabetically sorted. It might be the case. In that case, you might need to do something more stringent, precise with advanced queries. But that's way outside the scope of this video. I just wanted to do like a quick demo on like, hey, this is how you can do it. This is how you can sort on dates and get some result in. And of course, you can click on these and then you get like a side opening showing you those blocks so you can make changes with the wonderful new sidebar thanks for watching remember you're awesome keep it up